years ago today they are quite common as you can see by the mark to the right of the name set go by the mark to the right of the name Talagadula indicates they are wearing the hobbles around the front legs to aid them in their gait. Right now they're at the post. The gait is moving. Here they come. Daffy Yankee. Trouble behind the gate. Also off stride is Chip's Mermaid. They're often trotting from the outside. Saligadula for the lead on the inside of her. Out very quickly as they drive toward the turn is Do Re Mi. Along the rail, Affinity gets away third. Four is set go as they swing around the turn, trotting toward the quarter. After a break, Chips Mermaid is out next. She's fifth. And trailing after a mistake behind the gate is Daffy Yankee. Field being led by Saligadula. And Dave Rankin by two lengths behind them. Trotting second, getting a perfect trip now is Do Re Mi and Daniel Spring. On the inside, racing third as they sweep past the quarter. Now trotting toward the back stretch, Affinity and Mike Lachance. Front panel in 30, they're racing down the backside. Salad Gadula as they race that way. The two-year-old Pine Ship Philly and Rankin in command. Now their lead expanded to two and a half lengths. Behind her, trotting second, Do Re Mi. Third on the inside, down the backside is Affinity. Racing for set, go. Trotting five, and off stride once again now. Dropping back further is Chip's Mermaid. At the back of the field, Daffy Yankee. They're trotting through the second quarter, approaching the half-mile mark. Sala Gadula leads it now past that juncture, closer second. As they race to the upper turn is Do Re Mi. The half was trotted in 59-2. Sala Gadula leads them around the upper turn. Do Re Mi stalks the leader second, racing third affinity. Four is set go. A distant five after a couple of mistakes is Chip's Mermaid. Daffy Yankee can see the field. They're racing now toward three quarters and leading the way, Sala Gadula. And Rankin looking for two in a row in Grand Circuit Company. They're on top, length and a half. They've just reached the three-quarter. Racing second as they reach that juncture is Do Re Mi, ready to sweep to the outside. Here comes Do Re Mi now with authority on the outside. She's second off the lead, only three-quarters. Affinity could be a factor. She saves ground on the inside. Three-quarters, 129, they're in the lane. Do Re Mi outside, inside. Salagadula, the Pine Ship Phillies, battling in the last 16th. Outside, Do Re Mi and Daniel Spring get to the front by a neck. Inside, fighting back is Salagadula to the wire. Do Re Mi, Salagadula. Do Re Mi, Salagadula. Here comes Salagadula on the inside. Photo, Do Re Mi by a head. Home third was set go, finishing four. Affinity under the wire. Next will be Daffy Yankee and trailing that field of trotting fillies, Chips Mermaid. Unofficially, Do Re Mi. 159.4. And Daniel Spring, owned by Paul and Annette Najito, River Ridge, New Jersey, trained by Dan Spring. Into Victory Lane. Now officially the winner of the fourth race. Here's Do Re Mi. Winning Philly by Pine Chip, giving that Castleton Farm Stallion a 1-2 finish in that one. Do Re Mi by a whisker over Salagadula. Now, Jim Sproul making presentation once again of the Castle and Farm Trophy. As was mentioned, Castle and Farm stood throughout his entire trotting stallion career, the great pine chip, world champion, 151. All right, thank you, Carl. Winning trainer, driver, Daniel Spring. Is this is my first time. I'm from Buffalo, New York. And how'd you get in the horse business? Family thing? No, just uh, my father taking me to the back stretch, and I fell into it the hard way. <laughs> wow, and worked your way up, and here you are winning a Grand Circuit race today. I want to ask you this. How many people do you...